to number eight, let's start by just graphing y equals the cosine of theta. So I'm starting here at zero. My input is zero, and my output for cosine is one. Then I go to pi over two, and my output for cosine is zero. Then I go to pi, and the output for cosine is negative one. At three pi over two, the output is zero, and we finalize one revolution back to two pi, and the output is one. So this is a cosine, right? And we know this is a wave, right? It just continues to go in both directions. And so when we look at option A, because we're going to go A, B, C, or D, and we're just going to find the first one, that's true. Only one of the four will be true. The graph is identical to the graph of y equals the sine of theta plus pi over two. Now as a quick reminder, remember we're always going the opposite of what we think. So instead of taking a normal sine curve and shifting it to the right pi over two, we can shift it to the left pi over two. So let's just first think of what does a normal sine curve look like? A normal sine curve, let's do the exact same thing. Sine would start here at zero, the output zero. Then at pi over two, the output would be one. At pi, the output would be back to zero. At three pi over two, the output would be negative one, and would finalize one revolution back to zero. So it's a hill, and that's a valley. Now, if we're able to take this gray writing, and we picked it up, and we moved it to the left, a distance of pi over two, pi over two. So we'd take this to here. This would go up to this point. This would go one over to the left, over to the left, over left. It looks like this. Let's do that up here. So it's right here, right here, and we can see we have the exact same, the exact same curves one on top of the other. So the correct answer is A.